Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about earthquakes. Okay, so let me start with what is an earthquake, student. I hope you all must have heard about earthquake. Okay, it is a sudden shaking or trembling of the earth you can say trembling of earth which lasts for a very short time in very short time okay it is caused it is caused by disturbance deep inside the earth's crust okay students so when the two plates under the earth crust collides with each other they causes earthquake okay so Earthquake occurs all the time students means the plates under the earth crust strikes all the time but the major earthquakes are very less frequent okay are much frequent they can cause damage to buildings bridges so the damage so the very means the major earthquake are much less frequent means they occurs very le, means over a large span of time not a in sh short interval like daily basis okay but earthquake occurs all the time all over the earth means these electrostatic plates strikes each other always okay but the major earthquakes comes very less frequent damage can be to buildings bridges dams and people also okay there can also be great loss of life and property students earthquake can cause floods landslides tsunamis a major tsunami occurred on the indian ocean on major tsunami i hope that you guys have heard of this tsunami major tsunami occurred in on 26th december 2004 okay so what causes an earthquake now we will discuss in details cause of earthquake okay students let me uh, show you the diagram of inside of earth let's say this upper portion is called crust now the portion inside here is called mantle okay and the deep down is outer core then deep inside is inner core so this is the earth layers okay so students
the outermost layer of earth is not in one piece okay it is fragmented let me write this the outermost layer of the earth is not in one piece of the earth is not in one piece it is fragmented means in pieces okay and each fragment is called a plate each fragment is called a plate okay so these plates and these plates are in continual motion continual motion so student let me first arrange the above thing so now i am drawing here students the two plates okay so these two plates are in continual motion let's say this is going here and this is going above so brushing part means the moon this is the movement of earth plates movement of earth's plates okay students so when this plate a plate goes under another due to collision when a plate comes under another due to collision because they are in continuous motion they cause disturbance in they cause disturbance so they cause disturbance in the earth's crust this is and this is the main reason for earthquake earthquake okay students so now i hope now i hope that you guys are pretty clear about what is earthquake okay now in next lecture we will discuss about protection against earthquake and what are the do's and don'ts of earthquake so stay tuned for the next lecture on earthquake students thank you happy learning